welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah and I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. And today we're going to learn double moss stitch. And you may have learnt moss stitch in the past, you may have learnt seed stitch. Um, this is just an extension of both of those. And I really like double moss stitch, it just gives the knitting a different texture and just that little bit of spice where you may not see um, this very often and I will just quickly show you a sample of how it's going to look when we finished. There you go. This is double moss stitch but you will get a much better view of that once we get started. Here you are, I have cast on 20 stitches and the best thing you can do with a double moss stitch is start with an even number of stitches. Right, what we're going to do is knit one, purl one. And the only thing that you can get caught up with if you're doing knit one, purl one, is once you've done the knit stitch, which is going through the front with the yarn at the back, yarn goes around and you pull that loop through, is pretending that you can do a purl stitch with the yarn at the back as well. When in fact you can't because it will just look like a silly old mess and you'll have three stitches on the needle instead of two. So I'm going to undo that one. We have this knit stitch on the needle on the right hand side here and I need to move the yarn. I need to move it from the back to the front and then I can create that purl stitch. And then that goes to the back and I create a knit stitch to the front and you may think, oh, this looks so much like ribbing. What are you doing? I am going all the way along here, knitting and purling and moving the yarn as I go in between of those. I started with a knit stitch on this row. When I get to the end, we finish with a purl stitch. I'll just tighten that stitch up there. And this is exactly what we do with a knit row with ribbing. It's, or sorry, with a wrong side row with ribbing. When you've got even stitches, you start with a knit stitch. And I'm going to go all the way along this row, knitting and purling, knitting and purling. And I just need a bit more yarn. Knitting and purling. And I will see you at the end of the row and show you what happens next. So you can see at the end of this row that I have created what is ribbing. It is a bit stretchy and it's that knitting with the rib stitch with a knit one purl one that really gives it that tightened and loosened texture and you can see how the knit stitches sit on top of each other and the purl stitches top, sit on top of each other there. So what I'm going to do now is as I turn it over instead of carrying on with a rib which would be another knit one purl one row I'm going to start with a purl row and with an even side to it that is exactly what you do. So you can see here these are purl stitches but I'm going to go against that and I'm going to do a knit stitch here. And these would indicate knit stitches if I was on this side of the row, but I'm actually going to do a purl stitch. And I'm going opposite to how we did before. And this is double moss stitch. I'm going to do a row that starts with a purl stitch, a second row that starts with a purl stitch and with an even number of stitches that means that I'm absolutely going to continue so that these first few stitches and all the way along the row they're basically copying what I did on the previous row. And 
and I will get to the end of this row and then you can see exactly how this double moth stitch works for a longer piece. Here we go. You can see here that we have what looks like two net stitches and they're basically swapping over. We have just one stitch over and then what will happen on the next row is that we'll repeat this one. So there'll be two knit stitches up here and the purl stitches will go in between them too. And this is exactly how I did it with this brim of the hat here. There you go, two, 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 two. So it's like building a brick wall. You have um, bricks going one way and then they have to sit opposite each other on the next row. There you go, that is your double moss stitch. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this and do let me know when you use it, whether you have a project, have a pattern that you're already doing or whether you're going to um, maybe create a scarf with this because this is an ideal. It's really beautiful as a scarf. Just makes it that little bit different from um, an ordinary pattern scarf um, with a maybe a plain stitch, but a double moth stitch. I've seen double moth stitch scarves, especially with very thin wool, and they are beautifully soft and um, really cozy as well because it's just a slightly thicker fabric than you would get with the um, would you would get with the stocking stitch that you have here. Okay, thank you for joining me and I will see you again soon, I hope. Bye for now.